Welcome to the podcast for the sisters and bros. It will make you laugh from your head to your toes. Talking about their lives, from the highs to the lows. And the name of the title goes... The Sloppy Joes. Welcome everyone to the Sloppy Joes podcast. Happy Friday. It is me, Joe. Joe Smith. With uh, indigestion. Just a bit, boy. Um, and Ethan J. Hey. Oh yes. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Yeah. It's great. Oh, it's hey, great to see you, yeah. Ethan. Hello. Oh, you? boys, 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 boys. No Dom today on a Friday, but we no. do have the return of a feature, a mystery feature that you don't know about. But I can't wait to surprise him at the end of the pod. Mm. So stay listening for that. Have you found the heat wave on Friday? Uh, what What constitutes a wave? Uh, it, was one day, it was one day that it reached 27 degrees. That's more of a heat nod, isn't it? We've got quite a lot of listeners in Australia and America, and to, for them to find out that a heat wave for us was 27, what's that in Fahrenheit? It's about 78. Oh, is that maybe, sh- maybe 80? That's yeah. that was one day in Manchester, and then it disappeared a bit. But and everyone, we had a great time, though. It was too much. It is too much. It's different here, though. We know it is. We've been through this. I don't know if we have, but everyone knows now. Heat in England is diffi- difficult. It's because we're not ready for it, is we're it? We're not ready for it. We, we're a country that every year, we, in terms of weather, we just live in absolute ignorance. Ooh. Like we pretend that it never gets to 30, which it always does every year. So there's no air conditioning anywhere. No. Like even in shops and stuff, like supermarkets, big supermarkets have it. Nowhere else does. You can't cool down anywhere. Yeah. Everything just gets too hot. We see that the heating is on or it's off. There's no cooling anywhere. So there's that. And then also we pretend that it never snows or gets icy or gets to minus five, which it does every year. Mm. So like every year roads have closed. What's happened? Two inches of snow. and We, we just cannot f- conceive of how to get rid of it. We're just r- terrible with it. It is bad. Ethan, how did you manage the heat? Um, I, I didn't even realize it was hot. When was this? Friday. Just, what did you do Friday? Incredible thing to say. Um, oh, I was inside for most of the day. <laughs> Um, <laughs> so I didn't really realise it was really hot. Oh no, I did have I did have a twenty minute walk in the sun actually. So I do recall now because I was walking to the steakhouse for Zenders. Oh, oh, let's get ow, into that ow. bad boy. <laughs> it's probably one of our well we talked about it a bow, lot on the bow. show. Sorry, <laughs> you've been to it recently. Oh. I went to it recently. It comes to you. It does come the to you. Meats. It's the place we've talked about it. Unlimited meat on sticks. Lamb, beef, 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 chicken, chicken hearts. I spoke to Ethan actually on Friday after Pork. after his uh, his Fazenda experience. Talk I haven't spoken f- to him. Talk me through it, Ethan. Oh, well, it, it's funny because just before this podcast, he asked me what have I been up to, and I said, so much. And then when I said that, I immediately forgot what I was going to talk about because right. I've got this thing with my brain. Hey, what, what brain? Oh. Brain. What's the thing? Is it, is it serious? Is it? is it serious? Yeah, has it got a brain? Oh, actually, is it serious? No, it, 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 just, it just freezes. Oh, yeah, sorry. Oh, yeah, 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 just yeah, reboot yeah. it. You've heard this. So, um, for Zendi. Oh, yes. Who are you there with? So, uh, my friend Fred, who is from London. I used to live with him for many a year. Never is never heard of Fred before. Is that a new friend alert? It's a new character unlocked on the Sloppy well, Joe podcast. It, it, up until this point, he's just been like a silhouette like that with a padlock in front yeah. of him. And then Ethan's just gone, put yeah. Fazenda key in. You got to level 25, mm. unlock Fred. We've had Wob in the game for a while. Yeah. Alan's been in the game for a while. Oh, Manish has yeah. been in the game for a while. Bill, we know Bill. Bill's been in the game for a while. Fred, he's been locked away. He has been locked away, so Fred... Alan, of course. I said Alan a second ah, ago. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Wob. We've said Wob as oh, well. Oh, we said, said Wob, sorry. And Mindy. <laughs> Ethan, talk to me about Fred. Well, Fred, uh, I used to live with him. He's half American. He's one of the loudest people you'll ever meet. Okay, and like he's yours. always talking like this. Da, 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 da. He's very excitable, Fred. I asked you to uh, describe Fred, not Joe Smith. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Half American. Talks a lot. Talks a lot. Big lad, did you say? Tall. <laughs> you what you say? He's, he was tall, isn't he? Go on, then. Fred's tall. He's about. So what, what's Fred six got to one. do with anything? Six one. Um. So well, well, Fred came back up to see the boys. I haven't seen Fred in like at least three years. Have we fallen out? No, no. He he went moved back to London. His 
home place and I just haven't seen them for so long because I work so many hours for Joe. I just never get the time to to get out and about and see people. But we had a we had a chance. Oh, brilliant! So who pitched the Fazenda idea to who? Because obviously you've got a voucher for this oh, Fazenda. Oh yes. But it's an expensive thing for the other person. It's fifty oh. quid to go there. It's yeah. not cheap. So, so it's, you're saying, oh, I know what we'll do. We'll go out for tea. Oh, by the way, I've got it for free. It's fifty quid for you, mate. So I got the full thing for free, and everyone else paid seventy quid each, and I felt fantastic. So we, why why seventy? We're talking wine pairing or cooler Ooh. beers? Uh, I, that was a slight joke. Of course, I shared the voucher amongst all my friends. Oh, that's quite nice, you like. Um, sound like you. So I mm. I got the voucher um, because my mum wants to stop the drawers, and used to were talking about for senders, mm. and then my mum's friend Francis, who also watches a bit of Stoppy Drawers from time to time. Hello, Francis. Saw that. Francis house. Tell um, us more about Francis. She's just my mum's friend and colleague. She's very lovely. I've known. And so is a wee lad. What is this? Two characters unlocked in one act. I know. From Ethan. We're what, five minutes in? And Ethan's brought two new characters to the table. I respect that. What does Francis like doing on a day to day basis? Oh, um, that's, a, that's a great question. I think she likes to drink wine. Oh, oh said. Let's start with that. <laughs> and started with the booze. Started with the booze. <laughs> don't start oh, with the booze. Don't start with the booze. She, she, she likes walking. And she's a mother. Fucking hell. Brilliant. Yeah. Francis, I hope Ethan summed you up well there with yeah. two things. You're a mum and you're a pisshead. This podcast is brought to you by sons.co.uk. Yes, Sloppy Joe's 33 to get 33% off their fabulous products. Mm. But Joe, I mean, what kind of what kind of world are uh, sons.co.uk in? Well, sons are in the, I, I hate to say it, a world that you find yourself embroiled in. A world of hair loss and hair loss prevention. Unfortunately, I do find myself in this world, but fortunately, I find myself finding sons.co.uk. And the thing is, yes, obviously, at the moment, you're the one who's more sort of in potential uh, sort of dire need of, of sons.co.uk. But I tell you what, my hairline ain't what it used to be. And I think a very high percentage of men will experience some sort of hair loss before the age of 35. So it's not just about getting mm. in when it's too late. It's about preventing and sons.co.uk are here to do that. Go and check out their products. They are clinically proven treatments that have got you covered. They include sprays and tablets, shampoos and vitamins. There's loads on the website and you can get it being paid per month so try our code sloppy joes 33 sons.co.uk link in the description oh yes which is a lovely woman yeah of course she is and as a result she contributed to my overall 75 pounds off which oh, I had that, it's actually really nice of her That's thank you Francis well. yeah and my so mum there's a combination week. of them both very lovely of them both um, so off we trotted to the sender mm. In, in Dean's case. So I'd go spinning fields more. Spinning fields probably is more accurate. Posh end that, innit? But it is Dean's case. What do you make of spinning fields? Uh, not for me. Too many sort of men, men. who love Andrew Tate and women in tight dresses. Actually, I, I was thinking this. I've never really been down that part of town enough in my time here. I've lived around here for like seven years and I thought... I really should start fitting in there. I don't think it's ever going to happen. Do you think you'd do well in spinning fields, Ethan? I think I need a thick moustache. Mm -hmm. I think I need stripy trousers. Yeah. And I think I need more money. Yeah, you, do need, you, do, you need way more money. Is this the way you're asking? Is this how you're asking for a pay rise? <laughs> uh, when you get there, don't they look after you so well for Zender? Don't they? There's about four people to one table, isn't there? Well, well, I, I rock up in there, and I must say, it it, it looks like luxury, and you you walk you you walk yourself down the aisle, and <laughs> sorry, you, did you get married there? Get on. Oh, sorry, no. The stakes um, were high. Oh, 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 oh that's oh. good. <laughs> oh, very good. You've got anything else? Oh. Um, so. Uh, I could just imagine Ethan throwing a peppercorn sauce behind his head. Yeah. And the friends had to catch it. Catching a, a sabre laden with chicken hearts <laughs> over his shoulder. Oh. Jesus. Well, people don't understand. So the idea is, like you said, people go around with these big, big meats and they, they cut a bit off it and you get your little tongue out, you hold it whilst they cut it, and then you bring it down to your plate. 
Right. I can just imagine you getting confused with the uh, with the weights to get your tongue out. You're like, that's like a lick it off the fucking table. <laughs> Meet me. <laughs> Meet me off. No, Mr. James. Sorry, your tongues are just there on the table. Oh, I tell you what. If I if they did say it was to give you a big lamb to yourself just to lick, I'd do it. Oh, I just, need to, I just need you to say that sentence again. Just a big lamb. I just lick that lamb up. Oh yes. Lick it up. <laughs> so up where? Yeah, it, well, upwards. It's true, upwards. So you'd lick the hot because the lamb is nice. The lamb is good. I don't know if I could lick the whole skewer. I could of lamb. lick it. Okay, well, to get all the seasoning off. Do you yeah, mean? it was so nice. So talk us through then. Sorry, First yes, for Sunday. Give us a, a one sentence. How much did you like this? Oh, um, I liked it very much. <laughs> did you? <laughs> did you really? Oh yeah. I thought honestly, maybe the most unique dining experience I've ever had, and most enjoyable in terms of. The the constant happiness that was getting brought to you. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, mm. you, you get you get two hours, don't you? Mm. Now, Ethan, I feel like you're for Zender's wet dream. Oh. Little man. No, no, no. Big appetite question mark over your head. Yeah. Nope. Did you make the most of those two hours? Big action plan. Right, talk us through the action plan. So, earlier in the day for lunch, I decided to have belly pork bites to get me in the room for... For that I was Where the fuck rundies. did you pull belly pork bites from? From the Morrison's hot count, I never saw them before. I must admit, <laughs> I must admit that wasn't the initial plan, but I saw them and I thought I should really try them. But so nice. You've already, so you've already strayed from Good. the plan. So yes, but we we put a spin on it to think let's get in the mood for red meat. Yeah, for more meat. Meat to buy. Yeah, and then um, I don't eat for a prolonged period after that. I've touched no fizzy pop or anything. Oh, yeah. Just a little no bit bloating. of water. No bloating. Um, I also had to be special drink in the morning. What's that? It's, it, it provides the bacteria in the stomach for those who don't have it to break down foods that cause blo bloating. I don't think... It's, What's is that? It's diagnosed you with needing this. No, you can, I got it... Uh, you get the first batch half price <laughs> if someone recommends you. Lovely. So Does I it taste like shit? It tastes like um, a strawberry medicine. I once got told I should drink goat's milk, so I ordered some. And it lasted about oh, a month. It was rank. You're supposed to drink it in the morning, and it was like drinking sour yogurt. Mm. And it didn't have much flavour to it. And you're supposed to drink it quick as well. Get Why? it down your gullet. Why quick? Because I was in a rush to go to work. Oh, right. So... <laughs> I used to go blah, 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 get it down as quick, as quick as I could. Yeah. And it just didn't set you up for the day, although I did feel happier. Did you? It was apparently happy goat, happy life. Happy goat? No, it was from a goat. Yeah. Did it give you happy any of the life. characteristics of a goat? Just See, ramming into people. Your insatiable appetite. You'll eat a paper bag through a mesh fence. No, I used to. <laughs> I've seen you do it. <laughs> no, I haven't, I haven't done that for a very long time. Yeah. I used to open the door with my head just ram into it yeah. like that. You always stood on top of like a Wendy house or something. Yeah. Just jumping off with your back legs first. How does what sound does a goat make again? Ah! Fucking hell. That was good at that, you know. That's his talent, you know. What, yeah. goat noises? Just, just, just on cue noises, like that pterodactyl he did the other day. The meat. You get many of the meats. From lamb to cow to chicken and pork. All the core meats were there to have. <laughs> None of the any of the orbiting moon meats. Oh no, no, no. None of those. No <laughs> llama, no sort of eel. <laughs> None of that. So you've got <laughs> you've got your main celestial solar system meats. Yeah. yeah. But none of the uh, none of the um, Jupiter's moon's Titan meats. <laughs> no, they they, they were not meats. there. Okay. Nor the squid. No. Which well, would, I actually, I fucking love squid. Uh, there's no. It's all. Uh, beasts of the land, isn't it? Yes. There's no beast of the sea there at all, which is maybe somewhere they could branch but into. I thought it was in the uh, the cold cuts bit. Oh, well, that doesn't count. I want to see a, f a filleted, spatched cock place. But it's so flaky fish that if you asked for one bit, you'd get the whole Okay, fish. here's what you could definitely do. <laughs> prawns. Oh! And we're knocking them off the bottom. Anyway. Do you know how five prawns were at Morrison's the other day? Five prawns. Jump, king size, jumbo? Big boy, still had the head on. Oh, still have the head on. We're talking four pound forty nine. Six, five. six quid. That's Two ludicrous. If you want, what's your favourite meat? Um, so my favourite meat was the, the the mint lamb, I think, which I'm not usually a big fan of mint, but it was just so in depth the flavour. Yeah. Um, also, I must comment the men, uh, Trish, 
Wob and Fred all went to the salad bar. None of them came back with salad. They, they come back with different meats and cheeses, which I thought was a rookie error. Um, I decided to persevere for the actual cuts that I'd be getting. And boy, did I persevere. Really? So did you not get any sides or salad at all? You just had meat and meat only? So I lion. went meat only, but the l lads ordered sides because it comes with it. Yeah. I just went meat I had, a, I had a try. I had a pepper. I had a, a <laughs> teaspoon of beans. And I had a Parmesan chip. Fucking okay, <laughs> hell. But all the rest was meat. See, I, yeah. I did that a bit, but I went... Because I wanted to break up the flavour. So I had, like, olives, lettuce, Caesar salad tomatoes yeah. i didn't have anything heavy but just a bit of well. acidity and sweetness to break yeah, up the yeah, yeah, yeah. rich you salty love fatty the beef acidity, well, don't you? Well, i was listening to the other part the other day when you were describing how good a peanut m m is <laughs> and i thought I've, no one's ever described <laughs> they're the best no one's ever described the way you described it we get the fatty nut mixing in with this <laughs> Ethan, talk me through. Well, I must what? say, you getting all those salad stuff, it seems that for said they've had your pants down. What? When was that? You, they've, rin they've rinsed you. you. You should be rinsing them. You should be taking advantage of them no, by getting the, the expensive meats. Yeah, I get that, but the, what I'm saying is... Oh, have you just oh, been sick? Right. Have you just been <laughs> sick down the side of your chair? Off. Ethan's still yeah. so full of Four meat. Eating salad. You just said that and went... I did that the other day on the phone to my mum, actually. I got myself so wound up, I had to walk away and throw up mid-conversation. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What wound you up so much, can you say? I, I, I of course he can say, he's got to say now! I, I couldn't get access to me inhalers because of the Microsoft problem. And it, it sent me off my fucking rocker. I just lost my head, so I was ch telling me mum down the phone how annoyed I was, so I had to take a break to go <laughs> heave in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> and that's no you, good for the lung condition either. Mad. Bill Gates made you heave. Because I was, I was convinced I was gonna, I was convinced if I didn't have med here that that day I was gonna die. I was it's convinced. It's bad that system error, isn't it? Yeah. What? Really? Was it that bad that you couldn't get your inhaler? I, I could I, I did everything. I couldn't get the one bloody give me it. Really? And then they give me the wrong one with the different <laughs> one. See, that's Honestly. really oh, bad. Well, that's See, that's even worse. Yeah. I just thought it was, oh, people don't have to go into work today, but you've got people like Ethan dying of yeah. old age. You're dying. I lost my head. You lost my head. I've never thrown up apart from being on a night out. I don't have ever thrown up for any other reason. You've never been poorly? No. If you're poorly, it's the other, the other orifice. How do you think that is? Or do you get indigestion a lot? Uh, sometimes. If I eat, if I eat soy sauce or drink prosecco. But but if he's pissed up every day, it's about to coincide with an illness, so he might not have realised. That's true. Not yeah. Pissed up every day. No, but I think you might have been that. Do you think there's been a few illnesses that you put down to a hangover? Um, possibly. <laughs> I can <laughs> might have claimed. So just give it. Hit us with the, some big picture stuff here, these because we have been talking about this for absolutely ages. What did you think of it? Would you like to go back? Did you bloody love it? We're still talking about Facenda, are we? Well, yeah, because you haven't finished up yeah, yet. Yeah, buying them in. Oh, well, uh, did I finish up? Um, I tried everything. I even tried that heart, which we weren't even bringing around, but I asked them to go get me one, which actually, when I got it, really creeped me out. Did you eat it? It was nice, though, wasn't it? I ate it, but the idea of eating a heart just confused me. Yeah. Um, you just I, like to break those, don't you? Oh, yes. And then afterwards, we all had to lie down on the grass. Yeah, yeah I got a text walk. off Ethan. So I'll tell you what I did Friday. I got a text off Ethan James because I invited him to that gig. I've invited Ethan during the week to that gig, but he clearly didn't read what the message. Gig? Exactly. Did I or did I not put something in <laughs> yeah, the sloppy dog chat? And so I if he wants to come to this, I can get you guests. For list. what? Oh, for what? Anyway. Oh, the Burnham thing. He said, no, I can't make it. I'm currently lying on the grass. Outside so you and your four house. mates lying on the grass like hobbits in Fellowship of the Ring? We were, just were you smoking very long pipes and, and drinking brandy beer and stuff? We, we were approached from a, from a girl whilst we were on That'd the grass. Be, uh, what was it, the, the good witch Galadriel? Mm. Uh, who, who came over and hugged Trish, bizarrely, and Trish was like, what the hell? But I thought it was his mate. Then she hugged all of us and chugged me for about 20 seconds. I didn't know what was going on. I was like, arms up, like, all right, thank you. Now, apparently she had been through a breakup, so she just wanted a bit of touching blokes, which can you do? <laughs> I don't know. Fucking nutter. I'm going um, to put my cards on the table. 
I just want a bit of touching blokes, okay? I've had a breakup, and I'm going to touch some blokes. I'm going to touch some blokes. So Friday night, after when he did present, I was DJing a... Uh, a club night that me and you have been to many times. You often get too pissed at. Yeah. It's Dave Masterman's All My Friends. Yeah. So people listen to the Alice James and John Robbins. It's Dave from that podcast. He does an event once every... So twice quarterly, a year. Yeah, maybe quarterly. Maybe, or, yeah. He often does me, then him, then a guest DJ. Yeah. The guest DJ sometimes has been Ellis James, which yeah. was great. That night was, we were um, there. What's the other comedian who goes on there Ivo Graham. Ivo Graham, yeah. Graham, that was good. Yeah. And then uh, Friday was... Uh, Andy Burnham, the mayor of Greater Manchester. But wasn't that the result of a, of a joke or a mistake? It, well, on the podcast, uh, Dave thought that Keir Starmer DJs. Yes. And so I wanted to point out to him later on that it's not Keir Starmer, Andy Burnham now again has DJed. So two things to bring up from that. The first thing is... So who is Andy Burnham for people who don't know? He's the mayor of Greater Manchester. Yeah. The, f- the first thing that's happened is that we've got another charity event. Me, you and Ethan. What? Dom and one other. I'm not doing anything. Oh, so can can we get a slopper in to do it with us? We could get a slopper in to do it. Because that would be great. We're competing against other teams to uh, see who right. what can pull a double-decker bus the furthest. <laughs> what? Right. I what? Know some, I know someone. What? So it's happening on the 22nd of August, which is a Thursday. 22nd of so August. We'll it's have... not that far away. I don't even know if I'm busy. Yeah, well, if you are busy, we'll have to get another slopper in. If any bodybuilders are listening... Oh, no, I'm not busy. Right, well, I'll find out the exact time. I think it's in the afternoon, so we have to work. If so we have to we work, doing? we'll pull in a double-decker bus. Why? With the, the handbrake's off, is it? The handbrake is, is off. the engine means... running? No, the engine's not running. There's no one in there. For charity... Can and... we pull someone else? Mm. No. You can't pull your todger for charity. I signed us you up can. on the Friday night, sadly. So you signed us up to pull a, a bus. And who win? But what's the win? What do we win? We have we win? to see. Uh, I think we win a prize. But no offence, but he's letting us down, isn't he? No, he could be strong. He's got he's got the Geordie grit. That's true, actually. He's got the Geordie grit. He's so got... it's happening in Manchester Central. So as you know, the big and we've got to you've got to pull it quickest actually. So it's not the furthest. Who can pull it two hundred meters? The, the quickest. The quickest. So well, we need to get we need to get like Carnivore Cam or someone to help us out. No, I'm not fucking calling him. He'll collapse. No, he's, he's, he goes to the gym all the time. If anyone knows really strong people, we just need one person. Even if you anyone, does anyone one know, out. does anyone know Eddie Hall? Because if you know Eddie Hall. Get in touch. We need someone who's big and strong. Yeah. We could disguise him as Ethan. We could have him put on Geordie accent. That'd be good. Tr- 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 crouch down a little yeah. bit. You know, have, a, have a health condition. So there's um, five of us, is there? Five of us. Dom, got... I think, could be very good. Yeah, he's got a strong... 10 metres. Mm. Yeah. You're good. You'll lead the way. You're team captain. Uh, I don't know about that. I'm uh, I'm speaking... Why are you looking at us like that, Ethan? What are you not... I'm trying to think of strong people. Who I know? Ollie's quite strong. The producer that we're... You know, is he fucked? He's, he's quite a big quite lad. Strong. Is he? Stan's a strong boy. Stan. Stan can, Stan can squat. Let's see if Stan's, Stan's up. For Stan's it. got some PBs that have changed your, your opinion. Yeah, on let's see if Stan's much. up. And I can apologise for calling him. Yeah. Everything under the sun. Um, and then so so Stan was up that night. Andy Burnham did a DJ gig. He did all right. He loved it. Great. They were there for him. He he just he, he was very good. Well, it was like a karaoke. It's come to the perfect time that gig, hasn't it? Because Burnham, yeah. obviously, he's been quite a long-standing man. I don't like his being, but certainly... Yeah, 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 since 2017. So he's been here during the Conservative government, but he's a Labour yeah, guy, yeah, for yeah. people who aren't from Manchester or don't know. Um, he's a Labour mayor, and mm-hmm. he is obviously riding the wave that Labour have just absolutely crushed the general election in terms of yeah. seats. So this was like the perfect Burnham time, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, did the crowd love him? Was so there any booing? Was no, there the crowd loved him. He kept <laughs> saying this is a victory party, which Dave Masterman had to keep saying it's not. <laughs> because obviously... there might be a Lib Dem God, it might be a Lib Dem crowd. crowd. And also, you obviously, know... Obviously, like uh, you with your reform uh, t-shirt yeah, you on. I tried to crowd surf with my reform t-shirt on. It didn't go well. No. <laughs> um, so uh, so <laughs> Burnham was... <laughs> I love that. He's blaming his t-shirt for the fact people couldn't hold him up. I love that. <laughs> Classic. I didn't go crowd surfing with Reforms off one. Um, it was, it was an old UKIP shirt. Oh yeah, like vintage. You know, like we do classic football shirts. I'm going to do classic yeah. political party <clears throat> shirts. That'd be great. That. Yeah, I'd tell great. you what, if you were surfing across the crowd, I'm surprised that the reform people didn't stop you. Yes. <laughs> stop the bloats. That. <laughs> not very nice. That's an awful <laughs> thing to say. Well, that's an awful. Don't point at me and go, well. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking no. Well, <laughs> anyway, I didn't wear any of that. I didn't go crowd surfing. I stood and clapped a lot, and I thought he was brilliant. Good. Booking for a party, christenings, Christmas. I don't think he'll do all that, will he? I don't know. 
He all he wanted was German beer. Really, German in particular. Yeah, German export beer. I tried it. It had a it had a bit of a, a taste to it. Did it? Yeah. A taste sensation. Yeah, a taste sensation. So how was Andy Burnham to you? Was he nice? He was good. Yeah. He was Did nice. you chat to him? You also, you also. Uh, I brought my mate Andy, Mad Andy, who uh, is going through a rough patch at the minute. Oh God, he was and mad when he was going through a good patch. What is it? He? he might need rebranded. Causing chaos. Psychotic the, Andy. He's causing chaos at the minute. Is it like what? what Great fun. I can't wait. I'm riding the wave. Can you sort of tell us any <laughs> more detail on that? No, no, no. Andy <laughs> met. I'll tell you after when the dust is settled. Jesus. Andy met Andy. But Andy Burnham came off stage and Andy, my friend, was there. Now, in such a great politician way. So you DJed, so he, Burnham knows you. At Burnham knows me, he's not met Andy. Okay. But in a great politician way, he had no idea who Andy was. So treated him like a, like a, like he could be someone really, really important. He started rubbing his back, looking him in the eye. <laughs> Ignored me, he knew I'm just a little he sidekick. You, yeah, you're nothing. He could have thought, oh, is he, a multi, is he some sort of like, does he own, own the band of the wall, blah, 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 blah. And we didn't tell him who Andy was. So Andy got the full VIP treatment from Burnham's eye contact. Wow. Didn't did look it, me in the did, eye, did, what? Did, did it have that kind of knocking on doors in, you know, press yeah, to yeah, it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Where yeah, they, yeah. they have to make an immediate connection oh, like that. straight away. You want, I want you to dedicate the next five years of your life to me like that. Gone. It's, a, it's a gift. You've it got. I think gift. you've got it. Do you think? You could do. You could do politics at some point. Would you vote for me, Ethan? Um, maybe if I got kicked in the head by a horse. Fair. And, I, and you'll take that. And that's that's a lot of your clientele, is that, isn't it? Yeah. Dickhead. No, I, no one would vote for me. Ethan would do a decent job until they met him. No, no, no. Vote me. Yeah. And he and he stood at the front doorstep with one of those little bop. To, uh, Little ste steps yeah. that people that kids have so they can brush their teeth in the mirror. Yeah, and he's knocking on someone's door with that. Um, I, I want to slag two things off. Oh, good lad. One of them's a surprise feature on the end. The other one, and I know this is quite close to your heart, Joe, but I'm getting a bit sick of posh coffee shops. What? I'm getting a bit sick of coffee shops that they're the best. They're doing they're, they're doing my head in at the minute. Why? First of all. I think they're trying to make a point of how much fucking noise they can make <laughs> making a coffee. They are so Do you know loud. when you get the fuck when so you walk into this coffee shop, the steamer sounds like it's a jet engine about to take off. And then you've got fucking Ringo Starr emptying his bang bang emptying his coffee shit into the middle of it. Bang bang, you go in like that, done. Next thing, you don't you've no idea. In, this is the only posh cop, coffee thing that they've got two sizes, but none of them know what to call it. They could go small, medium. Yeah. I've seen medium and large. Yeah. I've also seen small and large. Yeah. Like they've skipped the medium. Yeah. And also sometimes it's just eight ounce, 12 ounce. Yes. 10 ounce, 12 ounce. And they ounce. say 16 ounce, oh. 10 ounce. Yeah. And then, this is, this is really annoying me recently. Cappuccinos, do you want chocolate on? Yes, of course. Why are they only doing the final quarter of my coffee with a bit of chocolate sprinkles on it? Oh yeah, just rinning it. I want it. the full Shebang. The, I think it's because the, the chocolate coated cappuccino. Why is it just cappuccinos, Joe? Because it's seen as a very 90s drink. It's your sex in the city. It's your big mug in New York full of cappuccino. The is cappuccino it? is a little bit out of fashion. Although maybe it's coming back. Maybe it's so out that it's really? in. Really? But the cappuccino, the idea in the modern, in, in an older coffee shop, your Italian coffee, Coffee's more sort of versatile, more malleable, more here, there, and everywhere conversational. Mm. So it's a bit darker roasted, doesn't have as much of a wide flavor palette. So the idea of putting milk and sweet chocolate on top boosts the flavor a little bit, gets a bit of sweetness into the bitter coffee. Whereas your modern coffees, and this is true, <laughs> is more focused on your fruit notes, your, your floral ah, notes, so your natural sweetness. So you don't necessarily need the chocolate. So, so some baristas, and I disagree with this because I think give people what they want. I always thought this. Some baristas don't like doing hot milk for people. If you say extra hot milk, they get pissed off because it's, it changes the flavor of the milk. Yeah. And don't like putting chocolate on the coffee because it's taken away from the natural sweetness. You don't need it in their eyes. But if you want someone with frothy milk, hot milk, chocolate Go on it, do it. So. If, no, if, you should make it for you just how you want it. If you had a coffee shop with two sizes, what yeah. would you say? Small, large. You'd skip medium. Well, no, because... <laughs> Are you stunned by that, Ethan? <laughs> Small, large. I mean, it does make sense. What you're saying makes no sense. I know what I have Medium to... is only medium in comparison so to why the two somebody... things that are flanking it. You can't, you, if you had one size, would you just have medium? Well, medium. some people just go small, medium. Where's you, the large but then I don't, I disagree with that. I and, disagree with it. And not. The, yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. I don't or get it. Or just made in as well, it's not even small. It'll be large, medium, personal, or like personal. individual or solo. 
What do you mean? Like an individual Fuck pie. Off. They always got an individual pie. Well, I'll be the judge of that. Anyway, yes, yeah, so no medium. Look, you need to get medium. There is no medium. There's yeah, only that's two true, sizes. That's true. That's true. That's true. And what's yeah. the other thing that's winding you up recently? So, we're going to make uh, one of our favourite features uh, a, a ret- an epic return. We've not done this for for a while, Ethan. Are you excited? Yeah, I don't know what it is. Yes, you do. We spoke about it before the show. Uh, me and Ethan have decided that this certain food group should have a place in the one out of ten club. Ooh, the oh. group. What, like the, the old pyramid Ooh. at school? Carbs, the old pyramid. meat, chips. Chips. Um, so welcome everyone to the one out of ten club. Ah, Dun- yes. Never made a, a jingle for this. It's been a while for the one out of ten club. Yep, you should have. So the one out of ten club is the opposite of the nine out of ten club. It's where the most disappointing and worst foods come to die, basically, isn't it? This so, be- strap yourselves in, folks. Because what are you doing here? There is an exception. Oh, I don't know what to say here. There is one exception for it, and I'll explain later on. Is this you being a big controversial boy? Yeah, we are, aren't we, Ethan? Oh, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Are you with me now? Yeah, we're on the same page. Oh, yes, always have been. Great. I'm about to put forward an item of food. That, I believe... I'm nervous. Has had its day. I think... (laughs) Can I guess it had its day? Is it soup? No. I made a belting pepper soup the other day. Everybody just calm right down. What the fuck is pepper soup? <laughs> That's not a, because as we all know, pepper isn't an in, it's not a, it's not an ingredient, is it? It's a seasoning. Peppers. Like peppers. Carry on. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was some of the most Charlie in the chocolate factory <laughs> shit I've ever heard in my life. That'd you know they just crazy. have they just have cabbage and cabbage soup. <laughs> Imagine they couldn't even afford cabbage. It's literally just pepper soup. What is it? S- Water, salt, and then for the and seasoning pepper. and the filling, pepper. <laughs> I'm bringing to you, ladies and gentlemen, to the 1 out of 10 club, tacos. Tacos are Ooh. done. They're you not as good as Vegetas. Sick. The only taco that I think is okay is the Birria Boys, the that- rest of them, the little fishy ones. This is vile. These tacos in front of us, they're just small, soulless, not for me. We've gone That's to meat. Don Tacos. In just around the corner from us here, actually. Ethan, yeah. tacos, tacos, you go to a place, I can't believe they'll this. charge you two for £16 these days. You've got to be thankful for some reason, and then you've got to eat them. And I think oh. it's bang out of order. There's there's better things you can get for your money, isn't there, Joe? Yeah. I think for the prices, a bit of a mix take. And I don't know exactly what tacos you've ordered, but do you know those ones in the big crisps? Yeah. What's the point of the big crisp? The big crisp tacos mm. are pointless. Don't pretend like you like them. They're a bit like a burrito. Get one Do you want one of these, like Ethan? Yeah. Oh, yes. This is Ethan's tea, this. I love now, these look a bit up. bigger than a normal taco. Oh, right. Oh. Maybe I'm talking about the tacos you're getting somewhere that thinks they're a bit above us. The places where it's like taco night, three for yeah. six quid. Some places think they're above us these days, don't they? Do you, do you like that, Ethan? Restaurants thinking they're above us. It's like just fucking cook. Disgrace. Cook some food. Wow. Right, I'm going in for a bite. We took a break in play there because we absolutely demolished the tacos that I brought. I thought this place, Don Taco, was going to be a true representation of the small, little, awful bites of posh tacos. In fact, they sent us they sent us fajitas, didn't they, Ethan? Well, no. These are fajitas. These are fajitas. The tacos. Size them with fajitas. So what's an, what, so you're annoyed that they're not bad enough? I'm annoyed that I quite enjoyed them. <laughs> I'm annoyed that we went to somewhere that actually contradicted everything I said about fajita, uh, fajitas, uh, tacos. They were all right, but imagine them smaller and cost four quid each. Well, and were. with a crisp shell. Okay, so what you're saying is- Close your eyes. They're smaller, mm. they're five pounds each, yep. and they have a really crispy shell. Okay. <laughs> Bad, aren't they? Uh, no, yep. actually, they're still <coughs> absolutely delicious, and they're a, a sensational food. Tacos are unbelievably good. And you know, you're eating that food and you go in, oh, I'm not sure about this. Immediately, you start pretending that these weren't tacos. These are soft-shell tacos, which are most, or a lot of tacos certainly are. Can you can you tell me, though, if you go somewhere in like the Northern Quarter or... Campus. Yes. They are slightly bigger than the, the ones, ones you get. The ones that I will agree on, and it's not the food itself that's one out of ten, but the, the construct of the world 
is the taco night one pound tacos and they're this big yeah it's basically a ritz cracker with a little bit of chicken on it oh. i hate that don't Bad. make them one pound make them six quid and make Bad. them big yeah but these are a, a true representation of what tacos are they're fantastic the coriander the spice of the jalapeno tomato bang sour cream bang cheese bang guac bang fantastic food look at you T tucking in right now what have you got to say for yourself? Ethan, you take over here, mate. I need help. That, that's not a taco, that. Yeah, I've done that right. Bit. This is unbelievable. It, it? It's it's a wrap. Or oh, in other words... On your, on your attempt Actually, to put it he's right. Is it a wrap? What are you doing right now? Well, I'm just saying. I think done tacos sell done wraps. That's a wrap. What so is it in the 1 out of 10 club for you then? Because it's not in for me, it's fantastic. It's probably in the 9 out of 10 club. No, oh, it's very it's good. It's nine. very good. Look at right. him. It's, it's very good. You've very lost good. your little partner here. Ethan, what the fuck are you playing out? And you just said it's very good then. It's quite nice. Yeah. It's great, but it, it's in the 1 out of 10 club for me. You're you're just, you're horrible, you are. You're, you literally are. You're the Boris Johnson of, of food reviewers. No. You are. You're no. only in it for yourself. It's all political, it's all to further you, it's none of it's for the truth, none of it's for reality, it's for you. Oh, well that bit's alright, but you I'm not the Boris Johnson. No, that's true. Joe, is it going to, so he's put it in, so it, it, goes on, it depends on you now. Are you a man of character, or are you a man who sort of is just going to be sucked along by his whims and his, mis, his, his misgivings? Unfortunately, they were not what I had in mind when I ordered. They weren't bad enough. They weren't bad enough, no. Right. Let's go on a taco night. Let's film it and then let's say if they're one out of ten. Well, for Taco now, though, night. they're not going in, are they? Of course not. They're not going in, no. Right. Them ones are quite good. Do you want to apologise? Moorish! <laughs> Moorish, if anything. Moorish, if anything. Right. Uh, right, we've got to wrap things up. Uh, next Tuesday's well, episode... Taco things up. Taco things up. Next Tuesday's episode, we're titling it a Joe Smith birthday bonanza special featuring Joe Smith. Oh, I'll be 31. Mm. Yeah. What Put in the title, Joe Smith turns 40. No. That's what you did to me. Well, I thought you were. Well, clearly said I'm not. I'm annoyed because Taco didn't make it to the one out of 10. Yeah, because you didn't put them in. They're quite nice, actually. <laughs> enjoy, right. Enjoy tacos, everyone. Bye, everyone. Wait, Joe. Oh. Wait, Ethan. Oh, yes. <clears throat> oh, yes. Ta-ra.